This particular setting that I'm about to share with you in today's video can cause harm to your channel or if possible self denying you of monetization if not done properly. Like there are some settings in our YouTube studio that most of us don't even really understand or don't even really know what they are used for. Especially small content creator or if you're just joining YouTube newly. That's what I used to say before you go ahead and click on any setting in your YouTube studio Make sure you do your research this particular setting. I could remember a month ago while I was still uploading once in a while here I could remember clicking on this particular setting twice and as God may have it I was watching a big creator here one day and he said this particular setting stop clicking on it but back then i didn't even know the meaning which in the comments section i saw a whole lot of people commenting they've been clicking on this particular setting without even knowing the meaning and bet me when i say you will be surprised if i should tell you the meaning of this particular setting and secondly this setting is really really going to deny you the, the rightful ownership of your video that is if any video you are uploading here on youtube is your personal video please and please do not click on this setting so i'm not going to say much as i'll be taking you straight to um the youtube studio the desktop version with the aid of a screen record in order for me to explain this setting very well for you and also show you the setting so that you'll be able to understand if you're going to stop clicking on it or instead click the right one so if you are new on my channel here you are welcome and please do not forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up so that it can get to a whole lot of us especially small content creators who might be wanting to make this kind of mistake all right guys so let's delve into the screen record so guys we're going to be going ahead to our youtube studio and to go to our youtube studio all you just need to do is to type studio dot youtube dot com and you're going to be requested to either go to the app direct or you just continue from the studio so right now this is the interface of my youtube studio then what we are going to do now is to go ahead and go to setting where setting is this setting that is down here not all these icons here not all these ones this setting so when we click on it it's going to bring us to this place where we have our channel general upload defaults permissions community and agreements so we're going to go ahead to upload default that is where this particular setting is so once you come here you're going to see this first setting which is basic info but that is not what we are going to be dealing with today or let me just say we'll come back to that after so the setting that we're going to be dealing with today is just go ahead and click on advanced setting so when you click on advanced setting you're going to see uh, allow automatic chapters and key moments please if yours is not ticked please go ahead and tick it then when you come over to this side you see category go ahead and pick your niche your niche so mine oh god what have i done so mine is how to unstyle is is already fixed there then under here you have language and captions certification which is normally english then this other side you have um caption notification none just just make sure that you go through all these settings and make sure that yours are turned on and turned off if necessary so here comes the main setting that i was talking about in the video you see this license let me click on it so when i click on this license you will see standard youtube license and creative commons attribution like as i said earlier on two months ago mine was on creative commons attribution i think i did it before i uploaded two of my videos so it was after i saw it from a creator that i decided to come and turn it off so now i'm going to be explaining to you what this um standard youtube license is and what this creative common attribution is now i'm going to be explaining to you what this creative common attribution means it simply gives a standard way for content creators to grant someone else permission to use their work 
so each time you click on this creative commons attribution you are definitely telling everybody that is anybody else on youtube to make use of your work and if you check it out from my research it's, it's it's really going to be difficult for you to monetize your channel which i'm still making research on that but the disadvantages they are numerous you, you can go ahead to your google search and make your findings so if you know that you don't want anybody else to use your content and even claim ownership of the content self as time goes on if you know that you don't want that you don't want any copyright claim on your channel please and please do not select this creative common attribution so what this standard youtube license means is that it grants full ownership to the content creator that means you are simply letting youtube know that you are the main owner of the videos on your channel and that is why Sometimes if you notice that um, somebody else come over to your channel, pick your video and upload it and try to claim ownership of the video, YouTube is definitely going to let you know, which is by calling your own video copyright. Now, it's left to you to go ahead to this our YouTube studio, this other side. Let me take you guys there. Now, it's left for you to go ahead to this um copyright claim side this c inside this small box and submit your copyright um request and which um which means that you can either tell the person making use of a video to bring the video down and so on and so forth so let us go back to the setting because it's going to be really sad if maybe after you might have struggle to build your at your channel get your 1000 subscribers get your 4000 watch hour and you sign up for monetization and you see decline it's going to be a very very bad thing that is why you really really need to be very very careful in whatever you are doing there for the people that is setting their own to um to this other one which is creative common attribution i don't know why they are doing that i don't know their purpose i don't know their reason for doing that but from my research it might it will really affect you during monetization because you are giving a whole lot of people access to make use of your video and which you know some people can be so cruel they might start to claim claim ownership of your video now and then if you are if you know that the video you are posting on your channel doesn't belong to you that is like you like you go ahead and take other people's video to post on your channel no this and no peace now always make sure that you give credit to the main owner of the video if you don't once you cross the line of monetization all these things matters youtube will start digging them out for you and sometimes they might not even let you know they might not even let you know the particular thing that made them reject your monetization. That is why you really, really need to be careful. As for those of you that post other people's content, always make sure that you give reference to them. So guys, this is the setting. So please and please, you really need to make sure that your own is on standard YouTube license. Except if you are creating a video a video that you want every other people on youtube here to use and make sure you do your own personal research in order for you to be aware and sure of what you are doing here on youtube so if you still have any question you can go ahead to the comment section and drop it there then go go back to this basic info fill all the necessary info here when you are done come over to this channel side, um, side check the necessary settings that you need to set on your channel and when you are done please don't forget to always click on this save click on save before you exit if not every damn setting you did on your channel is not going to work so let me go back and check mine if it's still on standard youtube license before i exit this place all right mine is on standard youtube license so guys i think we're going to draw the curtain for this video today thank you for watching if you watched to this extent and you've not subscribed please subscribe 
and hit the notification bell please like and share this video so that it can get to some people i posted this on my community page sometimes ago and a lot of people claim that their channel is set on this creative commons attribution so let us share this video in order for it to reach much more people to avoid them from making this mistake bye guys and see you all in my next video